welcome to Cogent's Velocity Training Session. My name is Leanne and I'll be taking you through your phone system for today. I'd like to take you through the key layout on your 4029 Alcatel phone. Down the bottom here we have a keypad that's to dial by name so you could be searching for external numbers or extensions within your business. Moving up the phone, you've got your minus and your plus key. That's your volume control, so that will turn up or down whatever the phone's doing at the time. The button in the middle here is your mute key. So when you're actually on a telephone call, and if you press that button, it turns the mute on. So you can still hear the caller, but they can't hear what you're saying. To press the button again, that then deactivates that feature. The Alcatel phone has a two-way speaker phone. By leaving the handset in the cradle, you can just start dialing the number. It's what we call a hot keypad. If you lift the handset, you can take it off speaker phone, or you may like to put from handset to speaker phone. When you're finished with the call, you can press your hang up key, and that disconnects the call. So above the minus and the plus, which is your volume control, you have the redial button. It's two little triangles. When you press the button quickly, it will dial the last number that your phone's dialed. Or if you hold your finger down on that button, you're able to scroll through the last 10 numbers using your navigator key of what you've dialed. When you have the number on the screen you wish to ring, you would press the OK button. It would then ring that telephone number. I'm just going to press the hang up key to disconnect the call. Now you can see you've got an envelope here which is flashing. The reason why that button is flashing is because you need to initialise your mailbox and that's actually by recording your name and setting a passcode. We'll cover the voicemail a little bit later in the session. You have an I button here which is for programming in personal speed dials. The personal speed dials appear on your screen so the little dots here correspond to the white keys. That's where you can assign phone numbers to. Moving up the phone, you have a button that says F1, that's your pickup key. So your engineer can put you into pickup groups, which means if you hear a phone ringing in your group, by lifting the handset and pressing the F1 key, you've picked up the longest ringing telephone in your group. Besides the F1 button, you've got your F2 key, which is your divert key. So you may wish to divert your calls to another extension, well, more often than not, people divert it to your voicemail. So if you're going to be on annual leave or if you're out of the office for a period of time, rather than people hearing your phone ringing, if you divert it to your voicemail box, it goes straight to your voicemail greeting. Others may wish to divert it to an outside number. Just bearing in mind, though, if you do divert it to an outside number, what will happen is it ties up two of your business lines. So that may be something that you'd like to check within the business. Moving up the phone, You've got three tabs here, so you've got Menu, Perso and Info. It's controlled by your Navigator key. So when you have a voicemail message, what will happen is your voicemail light will light up and by scrolling to my info page, it will sit on the screen and it just indicates how many voicemail messages you've got, what the name is of your phone and what your extension number is. Using my navigator key, I can arrow over to what we call your personal page. This is where you can customise your speed dials. So as I said, these dots here are speed dials that correspond to the white key. I've got a centre line with a little bobble at the top here. By using my navigator key, if I arrow down, I can assign numbers to these speed dials. So you can see the little bobbles moving down the screen, so it's actually flicking over the pages. On these dots, they could either be outside numbers or they could be extensions. Using my navigator key, I might want to arrow over to my menu tab. So your menu tab is where you go to customise like your ringtones and things like that, which we'll cover a little bit later in the session. Okay, the last little button that I wanted to show you is up here in the right hand corner you've got a little upside down arrow that's also a divert button so um, when you do set your divert that little button will move around the screen just to let you know that you've got your divert on. Moving on to making a call 
There are many different ways that you can make a call on your Alcatel phone. So you can dial by name, you may wish to use the keypad, or you could use a pre-programmed extension button. So I'd like to take you through dialing by name. So you've got your keypad down here, all you do is you just start spelling the name of the person that you're after. So remember it could be an extension or it could be a speed dial that's been programmed in by your system administrator. So if I was after the warehouse, I'd go W. Now it's actually come up straight away, so I could keep on spelling it if warehouse hadn't appeared, or I could have arrowed down and I could have gone list and it would show me everything under W. But that's the one that I'm after, so by pressing my OK button, I would then be ringing the warehouse. So that's the dial by name feature. With the extension number, you just go straight to your keypad and dial in the extension. If it's an outside number, you'll use one for an outside line first, followed by the telephone number. You've also got your redial button here, which is the two little triangles. So again, by pressing it quickly, it will dial the last number. Holding your finger down, you can scroll through the list. When you've got the number you wish to ring, you would press OK and it would ring that number. Now making a telephone call, you can either do this with the handset up, or you can leave the handset in the cradle. If you leave the handset in the cradle, it has what we call a hot keypad, so as soon as you start dialing, without lifting the handset, it will go on to speakerphone. I'd just like to demonstrate to that to you. So here we have our speakerphone. I could lift the handset to take it off, I could press the speaker key to put it back on, and then your orange key is your disconnect button. So that's basically making a telephone call using your 4029 phone. Moving on to receiving a call, when an incoming call comes into your phone, your phone will ring and it will show you on the screen the number that's calling you, as long as if you've got caller ID. Internally it will definitely show you that extension number. Okay, so I'd just like to demonstrate that to you. So this is a call coming into my phone, so I can see the extension number that's ringing. The little symbol is indicating it's a new call. As soon as I lift the handset, I'm now talking to that caller. Now if a second call comes into your phone, you do actually have the opportunity to answer that second call before it goes to your personal voicemail box. So I'd just like to show you that. Okay, so I can see accounts is ringing me. By pressing into the button, I've now put my first call on hold and I've answered my second call. I can toggle between those two calls quite easily by pressing these white keys corresponding to the symbols. So just remember when the call is on hold, they hear the music symbol. When you're talking to a caller, you have the little man with a handset there. Okay, so let's say I'd like to say goodbye to that call. I press my hang up key and then I go back to the last call on hold. I'm now speaking back to that caller. So that's how you put a call on hold. If you need to put a call on hold, you can press the hold button, put the handset in the cradle, or you can leave the handset to the side if you wish. To get the call back, lift the handset and press back into the music symbol. You're speaking back to the caller. If you need to transfer the call through to an extension, there are a couple of ways of doing it. You could either go new call and then dial in the extension number, or you could go straight to the keypad and start spelling the name. Once you have the name on the screen that you're after, you would then press OK and it would ring that number. Okay, so as I said, you've got new call and the extension number, or you can use the dial by name feature. Once you have the name on the screen, press OK and then it will ring that phone number. Okay, so I'm going to go new call, dial in the extension number. At this point I can announce the call or I could hang up straight away. If I need to bring the call back for any reason, you can press the hang up key, which stops the phone from ringing where you are sending it through to. Go back into the music symbol and you're speaking back to the caller. So I'll just show you that again. So new call, dial in the extension number. You may announce that the caller can't hear you. You could hang up straight away or to get the call back, go hang up 
back into the music symbol where your caller's hearing music on hold and you're speaking back to the caller. I would now like to take you through customising your 4029 phone. The first thing I'd like to show you is how to program up some personal speed dials. So we touched on this earlier in the session. Remember the I key is for programming up your personal speed dials. The dots on the screen are where your personal speed dials will sit. And remember you've got your centre line with the bobble up the top indicating that you're at the top of the page. So I'm going to program a number on here. It could be an outside number or it could be an extension. Okay, so I'm going to go I, press the button I wish to program. On the screen, I'm going to press the button corresponding to name. Using my keypad down the bottom, I'm going to put the name in of the person that I'm programming. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to press OK. I'm going to move over to the white button corresponding to number. Now just remember if it's an outside line you'll need to put the 1 in for an outside line, otherwise just the extension number without the 1. So we're going to put an outside number in here, so I'm going to go 1, and I'm going to put in our contact centre. 0800 222 126 and then press OK. Once you've programmed them up and you want to get out of programming, you can press the hang up button which will take you back to your personal home page. And as you can see, I've got Cogent programmed in here now. So if I wanted to ring that, um, I could just press the button and it would dial that telephone number and that would do it on speakerphone because I haven't lifted the handset. However, if I lift the handset to make a telephone call, just be aware that um, my speed dial page has disappeared. So to get back to that, I just press speed dial back onto my speed dial page and then press the button of who I'm after. So that's basically how you program in a personal speed dial. I'd now like to take you through um, customising your phone as in um, changing your ringtones and the contrast and a few options like that. So we're going to do this by using our navigator key. We've got three tabs. I want to scroll over to the menu page. Okay, from here I'd like to go into settings and it's my phone settings that I'm wanting to change. So we have some options on the screen here. I'd like to go into the ringing. I could change the melody, so there's quite a few different ringtones in there that you could choose. I could turn my phone on to silent. Progressive ringing, so I could have it that it starts off soft and gets louder until it's been answered. The other option here is changing my volume of my ringtone. Um, and just remember that when the phone is actually ringing, you can do this through the plus and the minus. So I'm going to go into Melody. Okay, we've got quite a few here. So by using your navigator key, you can see that I'm scrolling through. Once you've got the ringtone that you like, you press the OK button and that will set that ringtone. If I want to go back a feature, I can press my back key, which is above the I button. And see it's taking me back a screen. I might want to go in and adjust the contrast of the screen on my phone. So I'd press screen. You've got your minus and your plus. And when I'm happy with it, again, your OK button will select it. My back key. If I'm happy just to get out of programming, I can press my hang up key. But I'm just going to show you how the back key takes you back through the screens. And then I'm back to my personal page, which is my home page where my speed dials sit. I'd like to now take you to setting up your personal greeting. So to do this we're going to use the menu tabs. So we're going to arrow over to menu and we're going to go into settings. It's our mailbox that we're wanting to um, go into. And then we would press personal message. 
When we're ready to record, we'll press the record button. Before I start to record this greeting, you have a couple of options that I'd just like to clarify. One is that the caller can leave a message after the tone, or they can dial zero for assistance. Zero will go back to reception. Um, this does need to be programmed by an engineer. Okay, so I'm gonna record a greeting. So you press the record button. Hello, you've reached Leanne Masson from Cogent. I'm sorry I've missed your call. If you wish to leave a message, please do so after the tone, or you may dial zero for assistance. Thank you. Pressing stop. Now I have the option to listen to that greeting, or if I thought that it was okay, it's got on the screen, please confirm. So before you hang up, it's really important that you press the okay, and that will lock the greeting in. So I'll just hang up on that. So what we've done in this session so far is um, we've set a passcode and we've recorded our name, which is initialised in your mailbox. We've gone one step further and we've recorded a personal greeting for our callers. Now, um, it'll be programmed in the system that after so many rings it will go to voicemail. This will be done by your engineer. Um, if you want your calls to go straight to voicemail, you have a divert button here on your phone. So you could go F2 press your mailbox and what happens now is the calls are going straight to your voicemail box so the um, caller will hear your greeting and your phone won't ring. To take it off press the button and now what will happen is if you don't answer after so many rings or if you're busy on the phone it will then go to voicemail. Now I'd like to take you through retrieving a voicemail message. There's two ways of doing this, so I'd like to actually show you both of those. We can tell that we've got a voicemail message because the light's flashing, and on our screen it's tabbed over to the info page, and it's letting me know that we've got three voicemail messages. So the first way that I'm going to show you how to retrieve your voicemail messages is by using the soft keys on the screen. So by pressing the flashing light, I have an option here for voice. So it's a voicemail that I want to go into. It's prompting me to enter in my password. Okay, and now I'd like to consult my voicemail messages, so I press the button corresponding to consult. If you've got caller ID, it will show you the phone numbers, or internally I can see the extension numbers that have left the um, voicemail. You have a little speaker symbol here, so I know that they're a new message. I could arrow down now to select which one I wanted to play, so I don't have to start from the first message, but I'm just going to press my OK button here. The options come up for to play it. I could clear it, but we want to listen to that message first, so I will press play. Hello, it's Leanne here. Could you please bring me back on 919 0131. Thank you. Okay, so I could play it again. As I said, I could clear the message. I'm going to arrow down. I could send a copy to someone else, or I could call the person back. I'm just going to show you how to send a copy to someone else, because this can actually be a handy little feature. So this is sending it to an extension. Send a copy. It's asking me to enter in the destination. I could add someone else if I wanted to. But I'm happy with that, so I'm going to press OK. I could record a comment if I wanted to, or I could send the message directly to that person. So I'm going to go send message. Now that I've sent a copy, it hasn't actually deleted from my mailbox, so I would now like to clear it from here. And that's the end of that message. Right, I'm just going to hang up on that. So I've gone out of my voicemail box now. So you've noticed by using the envelope and using the soft keys, I don't actually get any verbal instructions. If you wish to be verbally told what to do in your mailbox, you can dial 500 instead of pressing your message light. So 500 is voicemail's extension number. Once you do that, you'll be asked to enter in your mailbox number. Your mailbox number is your extension number of your phone then you'll be prompted to enter in the passcode. So I'm going to actually dial in now so that you can hear those prompts. Once we've done that, you have the options to listen to a message or to modify 
your mailbox. So here we go, 500. Please enter mailbox number. Please enter your password. You have two new messages. To listen to your messages, press one. To send a message, press three. For personal options, press nine. So one is to listen to your mailbox. Three for personal options is to record your greeting. You two new messages. To listen to your messages, press one. To send first unheard message. This message arrived today at 15. Zero, six. Hello, it's Kocha Communications here. Would you please give us a call back on 0800 Thank you. To replay the message, press 1. To erase it, press 2. To call back your correspondent, press 3. For further options, press O. So I'm going to press 2 to erase it. Erased. Next unheard and I'm just going to hang up on that now. Today. Okay, so that just takes you through hearing your messages. So as I said, you can either dial 500 and you get the verbal instructions, or you can press here, flashing envelope, and follow the prompts on the screen. Now also, remember I've just got my calls diverted straight to voicemail, so we want to take that off now, so I'll press the button. And that takes me back to standard mode. So my phone will ring. After so many rings, it'll go to voicemail, or if I'm busy on the phone, it will go straight to voicemail. To make a third party conference call, when you're talking to a caller on the phone, it could be an internal caller or an external caller. You could have rung them or they could have rung you. So we're on an active call now and I want to bring another person into the conversation. It's just like you're transferring a call. So I will go new call. At this point I could do one for an outside line followed by the phone number. I'm going to bring in an extension though, so I'm going to dial in the extension number. My first party's on hold. Once they answer, I can brief them on the call and make an introduction. And when I want to bring that third person in, it comes up on the screen with the word conference. So we now know that the white keys correspond to the screen. Press the button and we have a three-way conversation.